Hello friends, this video on surface area and volume part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study surface area of combination of solids. We will also study volume of combination of solids, conversion of solid from one shape to another and frustum of a cone. Before we study the first question that comes to our mind is why should we study surface area and volumes? What is the need? What will happen if we don't study surface area and volume? What is the need of surface area and volume in our day to day life? Let's start with this. If you see this is a tank, you must have seen such kind of tank on the top of your house. If you see this tank properly, this is nothing but a cube, a hemisphere. Sorry. This is a cylinder, this is cylindrical in shape. You see, this is cylindrical in shape. Correct? This is cylindrical in shape. The pipes also, if you see right, this is a cylindrical in shape. This is one example of understanding or trying to uh, find the volumes and surface area of the shapes. So, in this case, this is cylindrical in shape. So, if you are asked to find what is the volume of the tank or what is the surface area of the tank, if you want to coat this tank with some color, let's suppose from blue you want to make it white and you want to know how much liter of paint is required, for that you have to find surface area. If you want to find how much uh, liter of water it can consume, uh, it can take, then in that case you have to find volume. So, here you need surface area and volume of this shape. Similarly, for example, this ball you have. This ball also if you want to paint, you want to know the surface area and you want to find the volume of air inside this, then you need to know the volume of this ball. Similarly, there are so many figures. This figure if you see, this is the again a tank which carries oil, it's a big tank. And here also if you want to know how much uh, the total volume of oil it can hold, you need to know the volume here also this is almost cylindrical in shape. If you want to know the volume of air in the tire, then also you can use the same thing. Surface area and volume. There are a lot of places. For example, in this place also, if you want to know the volume of this uh, space inside this uh, driver dock pit. This is also one shape, cuboid shape. Sheet the parachute. There also, if you want to find the surface area of this, the volume of this, you can do. This uh, tower you see right, a lot of places we see this tower, if here if you see, if you want to find surface area to paint this color, so if this if you see this is a cone actually, so if you know this uh, how to find the volume of surface area of the cone, you can find this, example if you want to paint it red and you want to find how much liter of uh, paint is required, then in that case you want to find the surface area of the cone, this area is all uh, cylindrical, if you see. So you can find the volume of or surface area also of this. Similarly, the ice cream cone. You want to find how much ice cream it can contain. So this also, if you see, this is a cone. And you can find the total volume of ice cream that will be inside this cone. This is uh, another example. This is a test tube which you must have seen in the chemistry labs. So this is a combination of hemisphere. This is a hemisphere here, and this is a cylinder here. And you want to find the volume of uh, whatever chemical inside this, then you can very well do that. This is the jar which you use in our home. Here also, if you want to find how much, let's suppose this small spice cookies can fit in. Then, if you know the volume of the jar, and if you know volume of one cookie, you can find the number of cookies that will fit in. So these are the practical examples in real life where we need to learn surface area and volume. Where we need to find the surface area of the object to know the cost of painting or something. Then you can find the surface area. And if you want to find the number of you know, items that can fit in or the volume of any container, then you can find the volume. And that is one reason why we need surface area and volume. Correct. So let's start with surface area and volume. 
Let's start with the basic shape that we'll be going through. So we'll understand the surface area and volume for the cylinder. This is cylinder. You must have seen the cylinder. This is round in shape and this is the height. Q wide, you must have seen it has length, breadth, and the height. Three things. For this, this is radius and this is the height. For cylinder, you have radius and height. For Q wide, you have length, breadth, and height. Then you have something called sphere that has only R, this radius. And this radius is start from here to this point, this radius. Uh, and we'll understand cone. Cone also, where you have from the midpoint, you have this is called radius, and this is called sorry, not straight. This is height. So these are the basic figures which we will understand. You must have seen this cone, a uh, hemisphere, cuboid, or cylinder. It's very very common figures. Cone, one common example of cone is the cap, birthday cap which uses cone. Sphere is football, basketball or cricket ball, anything is fair. Cuboid, uh, in fact your book is a good example of cuboid. If you see the book, the book has length, width and height. Correct. And uh, cylinder, a lot of things you will see cylinder, any cups, uh, the horizontal cups you see or uh, the electrical wires, if you see like, like this, they are generally cylindrical. So there are so many examples of cylindrical, cylind cylinder, cuboid, sphere and cone in real life. So these are the basic shapes we will be, we'll be using to find surface area and volume. But in real life, if you see, we generally don't see the basic shapes. We see shapes which are combination of the basic shapes. For example, this is the general tanker we see this is the tanker actually you see this is the tanker and this com is a co combination of this is a hemisphere hemisphere and cylinder so if you break this tanker this is the tanker actually this is a milk tanker generally is of this shape you must have seen somewhere in the street this is a milk tanker and uh, if you if you break this if you see this this is nothing but one cylinder and two hemisphere. This is hemisphere. This is also hemisphere. And this is cylinder. So what we have done? We have broken that uh, the complex figure into simpler four figures we have seen. Uh, sphere, cuboid, cone, and cylinder. Right? So we will we'll, we'll try to break all the figures which we get into the basic figures and the basic figures surface area and volume we already know and if you don't know I'll let you know how to find those values. We'll take some example. This is also one toy if you see. This is one toy and if you observe this carefully this also we can break actually. This part is nothing but a hemisphere. If you see this part is nothing but a hemisphere and this part is a cone. So if you break this, this part is divided into two parts. This is again a hemisphere and this is cone. So what we are doing is we are breaking the complex figure into simpler figures. Why? Right? Because the simpler figures, surface area and volumes we know. Correct. Let's see this. This is also one complex house. Somebody has built a house in this fashion. And here if you see there is a cylinder, uh, this is a cylinder. This is a cone, this is a sphere, this is a cuboid. So let's break this. So if I take this cone out, if I take this cuboid out, if I take this hemisphere out, and if I take this cylinder out. So I can see that the earlier figure which, I, which we saw was a complex figure, but actually we can break this into these figures. So if you, want, if you want to find the area of the whole figure, the earlier figure, what we can do is we can find the area of this cone, this cylinder, this hemisphere, this cuboid. And we can add. Correct. Similarly, for volume, we'll find the volume of all this and we can add. So let's take some practical example. So the question says two cubes, each of volume 64 centimeter cube, are joined end to end. Find the surface area of them. So there are two cubes, each of volume 64. So if the volume is 64, you can find the length. So first let's draw the diagram. 
So this is one cube, this is another cube, and both are of volume 64. And they are joined end to end. Correct. Now we have to find the surface area of the resulting cuboid. So if you see the volume is 64. So we know that uh, for volume, volume of cube is nothing but side cube, correct? And this is nothing but 64. Given from this we can see that side is nothing but 4. Why? Because 4 into 4 into 4 is nothing but 64, right? So S cube is equal to 64, so S is equal to 4. So this length is 4, this length is 4, and this length is 4 in this cube. Similarly, in the other cube, this length is 4, this length is 4, and this length is 4. Now that means you can see that if you are if we have if we view this cube together, two cube together, this is a cuboid where this length is total 8, this is 4 and this is 4. Correct. So we have length is equal to 4, this is the length, breadth is equal to 4 and height is equal to 8. So the new cube we got is 4, 4 and 8. So now we have to find the volume of the new cube. No, we have to find the surface area of the new cube. So the surface area is, we know the formula, surface area of cuboid is nothing but 2 into length into bread plus length into height plus bread into height. This formula we know. All this formula we have learned in the early classes. Surface area of cuboid is 2 into length into breadth, length into height, breadth into height. So we use the formula, 2 into length is uh, 4, breadth is 4, plus length is 4, height is 8, plus breadth is 4, height is 8. Correct. So we saw this is again 2 into 4 into 4, 16, 32 and 32. So this becomes 2 into 64 plus 16, 80, 2 into 80. And this is 160. Now, since it is surface area and this is centimeter, so this becomes centimeter square. Please note it is centimeter square, not centimeter cube, because we are talking about surface area. If you find volume, it will become centimeter cube. So this is my answer. Very simple. What we have done? We have taken two cubes, we have joined them, it became a cuboid. We found the length, breadth, and the height of the new cuboid. We have length, breadth, and height. We just use the formula surface area of cuboid is nothing but 2 into length breadth into length height into breadth height. Put all the values, solve it, get the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.